Hey, it's official. Nine out of 10 war criminals officially endorse Hillary Clinton. The latest, John Negroponte. Who's John Negroponte? Well, under Reagan, he created a staging grounds in South America for dictators, torture regimes, government kidnapping rings, and death squads. Well, this November, he's voting for Hillary Clinton. <laughs> That's right. In Clinton's recent press release, Negroponte proclaimed Hillary, quote, has the leadership qualities that Negroponte thinks is needed for the presidency. Yeah, that's what we're afraid of. <laughs> that's a Hillary Clinton press release. She's touting John Negroponte, who is the worst of the worst. Uh... And guess what? You know, it's it's funny that lefties want D Donald Trump to disavow David Duke. But I don't hear too many liberals calling for her <laughs> to disavow Negroponte and the 50 other neocon war, warmongers that endorsed her recently. William Chris, Bill Crystal. <laughs> they're all coming. They're all coming around. So guess what? So I'm watching on the uh, the Chris Hayes show. And there was a gaggle of liberals who frickin' j just figured out that and momently pulled their head out of their asses, and they've noticed that their candidate is endorsed by warmongers. <laughs> so here's Chris Hayes talking about this latest endorsement and all the trouble that, that's been going on. Now, let's remember that Chris Hayes wagged his finger at Susan Sarandon. He's on with Joan Walsh. We're, we're going to talk about this. Let's get to it. Here we go. I mean, yeah, at one level, right, you, you know, we're trying to win, you want as many people as possible. Right. At another level, there is this move among the most hawkish neoconservative elements of the conservative foreign policy community, the Max Boots, the, right. the folks who were... Robert Kagan. Robert right. Kagan, now John Negroponte, whose history in South America is just Right, enabling atrocious. the death squads all over Central America. Literally enabling death squads. Yeah, he's a horrible person. How does that, how should, how should Clinton supporters, liberals, war skeptics feel about that? I think people should... I, you know what, Chris? You had somebody who told you how you should feel about that on your show a few months ago. Her name was Susan Sarandon, and you called her crazy. Remember that? Remember that? You wagged your finger. What are you, what are you nuts? Crazy? What are you? Blah, 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 blah. You had someone who was just as exasperated as you are right now on your show, and you dismissed her, marginalized her, and called her nuts. And so did everybody else sitting at this table, by the way. I think people should speak out. I mean, I, the thing that Charlie Pierce, the point he made, is that sh they send out a statement about it. There are two different... She thinks she, people should speak out. Joan Walsh, Chris Hayes, how should liberals react to this? Joan Walsh, people should speak out. Hey, guess what? We did speak out about it, Joan, and you called us Bernie bros. And you call us sexists and misogynists. And you did the most underhand, creepiest, most... That's what you did. And when a real liberal came along with a clean record who wasn't a warmonger or in bed with them, what'd you do? You crapped all over them and you smeared them. And you called them a sexist. You called me a sexist. You called Jenk Uger a sexist. Chris Hayes called Susan Sarandon. Go ahead, what are you, crazy? And now, but it's okay now that you, so now all of a sudden you all got your head out of your ass. What was it that woke you up finally? What was it? Are, are you going to apologize now to me? Are you going to apologize to Jenk Uger? Are you going to apologize to everybody else and Susan Sarandon who would, and Katie Helper? Remember when you told Katie Helper? I don't know what you're going through, Katie, but I hope you get over it. What are you going through, Joan? Joan, what are you going through? I hope you get over it. This is what happens when you, when you dismiss criticism of your favorite candidate as sexism. Now you're stuck with her. This is what we've been saying, you knucklehead. Joan Walsh, suddenly noticing her nominee has waged wars on brown-skinned people halfway across the globe. You know what, Joan? When you suddenly realize that your candidate 
has waged war on brown people all around the globe. You know what that is? When you realize it now, that's white privilege. That you didn't notice it before. But now you notice it. That's white privilege. Joan Walsh is a self-proclaimed feminist who trolls feminists that think war is not good for women. I've seen it happen on Twitter. Here we go. Keep more is more. Uh, believe me, you're not going to believe all the criticisms that Chris Hayes and his panel level at Hillary Clinton right now. You remember the person that we were criticizing in the same exact way and they were wagging their finger at us, telling us we're crazy and misogynists and we're sexists and we're pie in the sky and we're fairy dusters and wallet. The and we were damaging Hillary. That was the last the last thing was we were damaging Hillary. This whole panel is going to sit here and damage Hillary for the whole segment. Are you ready? And what makes it gross is that they're all the same people who've been wagging their finger at people like me. What's going on here? Anyone, it's a free country. Anyone who That's wants right. to endorse her is free <laughs> right. to endorse That's her. Right. It's a unilateral then, thing, right. You, right? You can't that control. Letter, you know, 50, 50 national security experts, the Times writes about it. It's positive for some people, negative for others. When the campaign chooses to send out a statement, which sort of, which that sort of, which touts the endorsement of someone like John Negroponte, I think the left is right to, to scream about it. Oh, now we have permission from Joan Walsh. Now I can criticize her for being a warmonger and you're not going to call me a messiah. Joan Wall says it's okay now because it upsets her finally. Finally, she got her head out of her ass long enough to realize that the, her nominee is horrible. A horrible warmonger. It gets worse. It, wait, wait, it gets worse. Here we go. Yeah, I mean, theoretically, right? I mean, she's come from the State Department. There should be people on her staff who say, John Negroponte. Exactly. Is this a guy who That's there, right. is, are there suburban uh, women uh, and, uh, that are thinking, <laughs> I'm not going to vote for uh, Here's the Negroponte. And I love that they all giggle. I love that Joan Walsh now can giggle about it. You know that thing that people like me were concerned about, that you called me a sexist and misogynist about, and you smeared us constantly? And dismissed us. You know that thing that now is driving you crazy? It's also hilarious. <laughs> You know, I think you've got to weigh yeah. these things. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, frankly, I mean, the thing that I think there's a danger for Clinton here is that it raises, Clinton did not exactly distinguish herself in the wake of the 2009 Honduras uh, um, uh, coup either, frankly. Do you hear what Sam Cedar's bringing up? They're bringing up everything. Now they're bringing up Negroponte. They're bringing up now Honduras that only the leftiest of lefty people have been ever talking about her role in that. And now she's saying this is bad because of Negroponte, you know, because he organized death squads and what have you. <laughs> this might look bad. This might make people, oh, yeah, Honduras and Negroponte. And so with a guy like John right. Negroponte, it's very hard not to make that type of connection. Right. They, they, they should get on the ball. This is a, an unforced error at, yeah. at, at best. Sam Cedar is 100% right about that. It was an unforced error. You know what else is an unforced error? Uh, Iraq, Honduras, Libya, Syria, the Patriot Act, the TPP, NAFTA, Glass-Steagall, Keystone Pipeline, fracking, deportations, and making Hillary Clinton the nominee also an unforced error. It's like, I swear to God, it's like these liberals are just waking up like, oh, my God, she's horrible. Yes.